Hello, welcome to CRS Info Solutions. In this session, we are going to see about Salesforce roles. So roles actually deals with the hierarchy of your organization. So it will actually based on the record level access and it can override the sharing settings, uh, whatever the settings it is there in the OWD that is org wide sharing default. So that can be override by using the roles. For example, now, so this is the just a basic hierarchy of an organization. So there is a CEO or president. So under under president, you can see the list of directors. Under the directors, you can see the list of sales reps. So now whenever the sales rep creates any records, each other sales reps cannot able to see any records. So each other sales reps cannot be able to see any other records as well as whenever the directors create records, the other directors cannot see the each other records. In a same way, when a sales reps can able to create any records, but the directors can able to access those records. In the same way, whenever the director creates a records, CEO can or president can able to access the records. So this is how the basic hierarchy would be there in an organization. Now let's see how to set this roles in our Salesforce org. Here we go. So now to check with this, initially we need to ch do some changes in the sharing settings. So here in a quick find box, you can search for sharing settings. So there you can find, so once you click the sharing settings, there you can find organization wide default. So there initially you can see this account and contract access is there in a public read write so this is the default internal access now i'll just modify this into private so the moment you modify this into private so no one can see anyone's access for example so it will take some time to reflect in your system. So meanwhile, so here I have created three users, level A user and level B two users. So user one level A, user two level B and user three level B. These are the name of the users. All these users are in the same profile that is standard platform user profile so for example I'll just select this user where you can see this user is having Salesforce platform license and the standard profile I assigned to them which is called standard platform user now if user A creates any record user B I mean user 2 and user 3 cannot able to see the records because the default OWD settings now it is changed into private so that is why other users cannot able to see the each other records so let test it up So see now it is changed into private. So now what we can do is we can uh, list of users. I'll just first try to log in as level B user 2. And I'll search with accounts. I'll try to create new account. 
test user to level B account. So save it. So in account, we have some validation rules. We need to fill all those details, then only it can be saved. And annual revenue needs to be generated. And phone field should not mandatory and PAN number field should be there. to 99p save it so now this is the name of the account which is created by user to level b so now what we will do is we will log out from this user and we'll log in as admin Now we'll log in as level one, I mean level A user one. So now I'll just try to access the account records. So here I'll just change it as all accounts. So here you can see that none of the records is visible to the user one level a so now i am just trying to setting up a role so whenever you need to set up a role you need to go back to as a system admin i'll just log in as a admin again Okay, now logged in as admin. Now search for roles. So you can select setup roles. So here, these are the standard role hierarchy which is given by salesforce if you wanted to modify you can modify all those things by selecting this edit option and if you wanted to change any roles if you wanted to create any roles you can do over all all those things you, it can be done in this place now what i'm doing is in under crs if you want to add any role you can add it under CRS, there is a CEO role. Under CEO, there is a CFO, CCO, and SVP customer service and support, SVP human resources, and sales and marketing. So these are the roles are there under CEO. Now what I'm doing is, now I'll just go and assign this level two user as a CFO. It is assigned. Now I'll just go and assign level one as CEO. I mean user one level A as CEO. So role setup is done. Again, I'll just go back to the user. Now I'll try to log in as user one level A. Let's see whether we can able to access any records or not. I'll just go to the accounts and I'll just change it to all accounts. Here you can find the test user to level B account is visible to user one level A. So this is how the role will works and this is how you need to set up the roles. Thanks for watching this video. Let's see you on another session.